Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our seventh video lesson. This video lesson teaches how to perform Laplace transforms in MATLAB software. Laplace transforms is a quite useful technique to solve differential equations. Especially in process control applications, we have the control systems modeled as differential equations. We use Laplace transforms to obtain the transfer functions of time domain to frequency domain to solve input and output functions in process control models. So it's extremely important to learn the basics of Laplace transforms and to know how we can obtain the transfer functions and inverse Laplace of any given function. When we try to do this manually, since it is pretty tough, we can use MATLAB software to solve them. First, what is Laplace transforms? Here, transform simply means converting one set of functions to another set of functions. The Laplace transform of a function ft can be defined as the integral from 0 to infinity of function f of t times e to the power minus st dt. So one thing we should note is normally the function should be time dependent function. So it's in time domain. So this definition could be confusing sometimes. So let's take a simple example and understand the meaning of Laplace transform. So a simple example would be finding the Laplace transform of ft is equal to 1. So that simplifies to Laplace transform of 1 equals to the integral form of from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus st times dt. So we can integrate this function and we get 0 to infinity of minus 1 over s e to the power minus st. So we can substitute the limits from 0 to infinity, finally we end up with 1 over s. So the Laplace transform of ft is equal to 1 is 1 over s. So like this, we can apply the definition to understand how Laplace transforms work. Hope that you got some idea of working with Laplace transforms. So there are tables of Laplace transforms and inverse of them so that we can refer them whenever we need to use for our calculations. Actually, in the classroom, we have to do that. But what we must discuss is how to write commands to obtain solutions for Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace transforms in MATLAB software. That is very important for the future. So let's discuss that now. So go to MATLAB command window. The format of built-in command for Laplace transform is first we type sims which specify the system variables that we use in our functions and transformation. So we type sims t. MATLAB has the built-in command for Laplace transform that is Laplace to call the Laplace transform. So let's use this form of command to just get familiar to Laplace transforms. First, let's check our simple example which we did previously manually. So we type sims simple t capital L. So capital L to mention the Laplace. It's our own symbol. We can use anything. So capital L is equal to Laplace. So instead of uh, saying 1, we say t over t because it should be a function of t. Otherwise, t divided by t should be equal to 1. If we type in this way, we obtain the same answer using MATLAB as 1 over s. So let's check another example for 5t. So L is equal to Laplace 5t. So we obtain the answer for that. Instead of numbers, let's have some symbols for coefficients. Like let's say the function is simple a t. 
so we define sims simple t capital l and simple a and we type capital l is equal to laplace a t so we can see matlab can give us the laplace transform of a function when both numbers and symbols are available in the function so let's try with a more complex function we find the laplace of 3t plus 2 exponent 3t so the answer contains two fractions to see the answer in more comprehensive style we can use pretty command so we type pretty the answer so we get the answer in a better look so similarly we can try for laplace transform of different functions uh, let's do one last example we type sims s l a b c so we type l is equal to laplace of a s over b plus c s so we see that we can use numbers values and symbols in our function after transform the function is called as the transfer function next let's see how to perform the inverse laplace for inverse laplace we can use the command i laplace so to check that let's type sims sl and l is equal to i laplace 1 over s so this gives back the value of 1 as the answer so we can confirm that the inverse laplace of a laplace transform should be the first function so let's try another one l is equal to i laplace 1 over s plus 3 multiplied by s minus 2 so this is the inverse laplace of a transfer function so we have discussed how to enter the commands for laplace transform and inverse laplace in matlab software next let's see how to obtain the laplace transform of a differential equation the beauty of laplace transform is we can use it to solve a differential equation of any order even for ordinary and partial differential equations for the learning purpose let's consider a second order ordinary differential equation so that is uh, d squared x over dt squared plus dx over dt plus 10x is equal to 20 initial conditions are 5 and 3 so to Laplace transform a differential equation we can start from system variables so we type the system variables as sims x t s capital x to mark the uh, Laplace transformed value capital L to show the Laplace transform so we type capital L is equal to Laplace within brackets the differential equation using the diff command so we can type in this format and we obtain the transfer function for this differential equation so we can simplify it by substituting the defined system variables capital x so we type substitute to substitute we use subs command so we can use subs f laplace and in this form so we can substitute capital x for that then we define the initial values so we use the same command subs to substitute the initial values and after that we can solve for capital X that is Laplace transform here we got the Laplace transform of simple X of T so for better look we can use the pretty command so pretty x give us the final answer in a better look
So in this video lesson, we discuss the basic theory about the Laplace transforms and its importance for engineering applications, especially for chemical engineering process control. Then we saw how we can obtain the Laplace transform and inverse Laplace of a function. Finally, we manipulated MATLAB software commands to obtain Laplace transform of a differential equation. In the next video lesson, let's discuss an example on solving ordinary differential equations using Laplace transforms in MATLAB software. So until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.